Hi, and welcome to Blood Moon. Blood Moon is the event that we're having in Champions Online at the end of October, running through the beginning of November. Uh, this really is kind of a dark look at the time when uh, the veil between worlds is at its thinnest, and so the evil, undying Lord Tacophanes is bringing forth his undead minions uh, to try to take over the world, and especially Millennium City. Uh, there's a lot of fantastic, really just over-the-top events that players are going to be able to go through. And really one of the big things is a new power set, the celestial set for players. Uh, there's a new PvP map. There's uh, new missions to go on. There's events that take place all over the world. And some of these things will only be around for a couple of weeks, but then others will actually be persistent and continue on through the world. So we're really excited about Blood Mood and want to talk to you guys about it. My name is Kevin Stalker. I'm a content designer here at Cryptic Studios. And I'm going to talk to you today about the Dawn of the Undead Heroes event, which is our Halloween event coming up later this month. And what we've got there is we've got Tacophanes, who's an ancient lich, who's pulling back 13 of the slain heroes from the Battle of Detroit and using them to assault Millennium City. And he's pulled up 13 uh, portals in, in Millennium City that he's got zombies attacking out of and turning civilians into his, his minions, into other zombies. And each portal has a unique hero. And once you defeat the zombie hordes outside of that portal, you can defeat that undead hero and travel through the portal into the crypts where you have a mission to free that hero's soul. My name is Thomas Foss. I'm a senior designer here at Cryptic Studios. And today we're going to be talking about a portion of the Halloween event called the Bite Event. The Bite Event spans three different zones, Canada, Monster Island, and Desert, and is basically werewolves and hunters. Now, there are lots of werewolves running around the zones, and regular players can hunt them as well um, and get a badge for it. But beware, if you are attacked by a werewolf, you can be infected by lycanthropy. And this will cause you to turn into a werewolf for a short period of time. While in werewolf mode, you can be hunted by hunters. But it only happens until you're defeated, then you turn back into a regular player again. To help hunt down the werewolves, you can find a contact. His name is Eric Roston Rhodes. Eric will give you uh, the powers and the avatar to become a hunter, and you can go and hunt werewolves. Or we have Claude Baines, who is the werewolf contact, will uh, distill upon you a talisman that will let you control your werewolf powers once you've been bit. My name is James Laird. I'm the PvP designer for Champions Online, and I am psyched to tell you about our new PvP map, Zombie Apocalypse. It's just like it sounds. There's a small group of heroes up in Canada holding the fort against the zombie hordes. You'll start in a cabin in Canada with a small group of survivors trying to hold off the zombie hordes. However, one player starts as a super-powered zombie. The heroes have the advantage of numbers, and they can work together as a team. But as each hero dies, they return as a zombie themselves. Eventually, the zombie heroes outnumber the living heroes. You'll earn more points the longer you survive against the zombie horde. The goal is to be the last champion standing. Blood Moon is rising on October 27th, so we'll see you online.